K family. So here we go. Listen, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I thought, why not take this opportunity to share it with the fam? Um, this is a, a peach pound cake um, that I do have a recipe for. Um, and I will list all of the recipe ingredients and items in the description. Um, but this is an actual recipe. Um, I just never have done it in a air fryer before. So today is the first time for everything. Um, and what you have there already is you have the butter and you have some Duncan Hines butter golden cake mix. Um, I'm not reinventing the wheel and making my own cake mix from scratch and doing all that. Uh, this is just a little experiment that I decided to share. Um, and I want to see how it comes out. And so um, this is a judgment free zone, guys. Did you hear me? Judgment free. And if it comes out good, we'll do it again. Um, I have two bunk cake pans, so we'll do it again. And we'll see how it comes out. So um, you're going to get some at the store some peach halves already in the can no need to cut peaches or anything like that we're going to actually cut those in half again um and then what i usually do for my normal recipe is i usually get the peaches um that come in the syrup juice and i just basically take whatever and that's our air fryer just went off it just let me know that everything's preheated and ready to go for us um so we're going to make this quick so I just usually take this and I usually use the liquid that comes um, off of the off of the canned peaches uh, and I put that in there for the water base. Uh, we got a little heavy cream with us today because we want some good moisture in there. Uh, we got four eggs. Um, actually, we're going to go ahead on and add the eggs now. We got four eggs um, and then we have a miniature size bunt pan to fit in our air fryer and we're going to sprinkle that um, with some confectionery sugar we already put some oil down in here and we're going to sprinkle that with some confectionery sugar so that the cake doesn't stick let me do that now and so you just want to take your confectionery sugar or and or flour either one and just kind of do like that. It's already got some oil in there. And that just helps it so that it doesn't stick. And then we're going to use some more confectionery sugar to give this a nice, good, sweet taste. And make everything nice, nice. So let's go ahead on and start putting our moistures in here. We're going to um, add our peach juice that came from the can of peaches and then we're going to add our heavy cream in there and then we're just going to start mixing it now y'all don't mind my mixer it, it's a little powerful oh watch it you know it can get kind of hype on you you gotta bring it back down and tell her to calm down and, you know we'll work with her but that air fryer is over there smelling good so we're just gonna mix this up. This, this, this. Listen, I'm on low, y'all. I want y'all to know I'm on low. I'm on low right now. There is no other speed but low right here. Okay? So, as you know, when you're doing a pound cake, okay? When you're doing a pound cake, and we got a little more heavy cream left in there. When you're doing a pound cake, you're gonna use four eggs. And, but you're not going to add all of your eggs in. This one was kind of already cracked. So let me go ahead on and do that one first. Um, you're not going to add all of your eggs in at one time. Okay. Okay. You're not going to add. So I'm going to have this one ready to go next. But you're not going to add in all of your eggs at one time when you're making a pound cake. You're going to kind of mix. And as you go... And I don't have, I'm using a hand with this so I gotta be creative. No shells, no shells. So then we're gonna just kind of start mixing this. 
real good. Okay. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to stop the mixer real quick. And I'm going to put the egg in here so that we get all of our... So, yeah, so I was saying, you don't want to add all of the egg at one time. Okay. So this is just a little recipe that I thought I would try with the air fryer. And we're going to see how it come out. Okay. And yeah, that's looking kind of thick there. Now listen, the consistency is like that. And I know y'all saying, oh my God, that looks thick. But wait a minute. We still got to add our peaches in. Now, when we add our peaches in there, of course, the peaches is going to give it that much more, more that much more moisture, and you're not going to need to add any more liquid to this. So, I just want y'all to be aware of that. So, we use four eggs. I'm going to add our last egg in there. All right. You're not going to need to use any water with this. Because when you add the pieces in there, that's going to give it more mixture, um, more, more moisture. Already has moisture in there. So all I'm doing, y'all, is I'm just going in. Can y'all see this? I'm just going in. See that other moisture that came from those peaches? I'm just going in and I'm just kind of chomping these down. Because I want my peaches to be whole in the cake. I don't, I'm not going to parade it because... I don't want it parade. I want it to be kind of whole. I want it to cook whole. And when you're in the air fryer, you have to know that within the air fryer, this cake is going to cook quite fast. Okay, so we got that. We're going to add those in. So that's your other part of your moisture that you're looking for. I know y'all saying this cake look real thick. How's he going to loosen that up? But that's your other portion of your moisture. We're going to just add a little more confectionery sugar in there for a good taste. And then we're going to blend this up and we're going to put it in. So I see how loose it's getting. And don't worry about the halves. They'll be fine. They're going to bake just like they are right in that cake. And when we cut the cake, you're going to see that the halves are right there. So, yep. This cake is going to cook so fast in the... Now, let me stop this for a minute. Now the, now, the halves will break down as you continue to blend. So, be be aware of that. Be aware that as you continue to blend, the halves will break down. But they're not going to break down so much to where they're going to be parade. You don't want them parade. At least that's the way I do mine. I don't like it for rain. All right, and that's all we're going to do with her. We're going to shake her out and lay her over here. And we're going to get the hand one because we want to make sure we're not breaking up our peaches. See that? That's the consistency you want. Okay? Well, it smells good, y'all. It smells really good. This is the type of consistency you want as you make a pound cake. Now we, uh oh, it's shutting off y'all. I gotta cut it back on. If you have not, if you have not submitted your, in, your entry to us, you need to go to my personal page or to our Clever Chef Facebook page and click the link. Enter your first name, last name, and email, and make sure that you're following us on all of our social media. We're on YouTube, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram and Facebook, um, and that's one of the requirements to enter your chance to win some cash with Clever Chef. So we want you all to continue to do that. We have about 54 people. And we're looking to get uh, 50 more, and then we want to do a big drawing. So we want to do, um, we want to draw 
a number of people. I got to reset the, the air fryer, y'all. It cut off on me because if you take too much time um, putting the item in, it will shut off. But the good thing is it's already pretty much preheated, so we can go for what we know. Okay, so we'll give that a minute, but I just want to show you that this is the consistency you want when you're working with your pound cake, okay? And today, let me see, do I have something to put this in there with? Because I don't want to be using, yeah, let's use this. We're going to put this in there, all right? And we're just going to like so. I'm going to just add it in there. And let it come all the way up to the top. Mm hmm And that's good enough. Okay. Yes, sir. I can't wait. Ooh. Mm. My, 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 my. Mm, 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 mm. Good God Almighty. Mm. So let's give this a little tab so that it can go even. And I know y'all saying, now it looks like that's too loose, huh? But you watch what it does in the, in the air fryer. I am excited about this. I am excited about this. Family, so we're here. We are at the air fryer. We're getting ready to add it in. Um, and it it's working. It's ready for us to add the food. Let me stop it, though, and add 25 on it, okay? Um, what I did want to show you is now I thought I was going to have to cover this. Um, but I don't. I don't have to cover this. And I can put it in there um, because it's going to not cook on the top so fast. It's going to cook around it. Now, I do want to show you, though, I did add a little water in the bottom of here. And I just did it just because um, I just thought that maybe some of the moisture would help it um, cook a little bit better. So we're going to put this bad boy in here. It's nice and hot. And we are going to see what's going to happen i'm excited i am excited this is my first time ever doing this so we're on a journey together family we're gonna see how this thing comes out wait 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 just one minute wait just one more so are you subscribed to our youtube channel yet because if you're not you're going to want to make sure you subscribe. Because the way this cake came out, you don't, you ain't going to know what you're missing. You ain't going to know what you're missing. Take this moment right now. Like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the Clever Chef Show. Because y'all, when I show you this cake family, that came out of that air fryer over there, you are going to say, get me one tomorrow. Like, share, and subscribe. Now, let me tell you, it smells good in here. I already know what the cake look like. You don't know yet, because I ain't showed you yet. But like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this so you can see stuff made instantly hot off the press. And for the glaze, I just took some um, cream cheese frosting uh, in, a, in, a, in a little melting bowl or in a, a garnishment dish. And I stuck that in the microwave for about 30 seconds with a tablespoon of butter. And that's our glaze. So if you can see, it has the glaze on it. And this is the finishing product for the air fried pound cake. It came out pretty good. So family, this is how it came out. Take some 